or you want? Uh, to yeah, I got one more. Um, I like that first question as well. The if you could have any three anime characters on your podcast, who and why? All right, I'll, and you guys can all give individual answers, so don't don't think you have to speak for all of the friends on Rampage. You just be right, awesome. I think I'm gonna go with it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like three to one. So like three, I think I gotta have Yusuke on the own um, podcast because like <laughs> the CEO He'll be fucking some shit up, bro. That ain't gonna be wrapping up then. <laughs> Yusuke. <laughs> <laughs> You went through so much stuff. This man, first of all, I'm gonna say, first of all, you died. How did that? You died. How did that? How did that feel? You know, I got a theory on how Yusuke would be, and it comes from my years of watching hood niggas get interviewed and rap. Like, hey man, I ain't gonna speak on that. Right. The flat TV interviews where they be like, "No, nah, bro, you ain't catch me." Like, I know, I know the, the fans yeah. are watching this. Uh huh. Like, you know? like Birdman, put some respect on my name. Yeah. <laughs> me. That, uh, that, little, that that young man take. Oh, let me let me leave Birdman alone. Let me leave Birdman alone. <laughs> uh, the second, I probably had Piccolo just for the culture, bro. Piccolo so goaded. He's so cool. We probably talk about like I don't know, raising people. I don't know who we talk about, especially being about Canada. raising people. I don't know Piccolo. Because <laughs> I feel like Piccolo is like the um, like you know when people like get really really successful, but you can't get their time. But there's like that one nigga in the group that you can. I feel like Piccolo is that guy where you can get his time and get enough detail about the Z fighters and everything. Without like, but you wouldn't like. Goku would be like, "Nah, bro, I got other shit to do." Vegeta's like, "Nah, I got other shit to do." But Piccolo's like, "Yeah, I got the time," and he's close enough with those experiences. Because like, if you get Tien or Yamcha, you only gonna get five minutes of every fight because that's about how long they was in before they got knocked out, dropped, or dead. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> was that long enough to like witness shit? You know, talk to them niggas after. He probably go to lunch with them, so you definitely could get some secrets from him. No, I feel you. That's a good one. Real. Yeah, you know what? If, if I'm interviewing Piccolo, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, what's up with all that Demon King Piccolo shit? You thought we forgot? We pulled up your Twitter. Yeah, nigga, I'm about to kill Kakarot and blow up this motherfucking planet. Oh, you thought we forgot about that? Huh? They thought you saved the world. We forgot. What? You, you said, bro, that was thirty you know, years ago. Let it go. Don't sleep. Piccolo is not above blowing your ass up. Still though, <laughs> you get some questions, he gonna hit you with a hell zone grenade, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Then my last one probably be like, of course, it probably be Luffy. It's gonna be like real simple and short. <laughs> we just talk about you know, <laughs> um, the Mary, all the crewmates. That's pretty much it. it correct, sir. If Luffy do anything, it's go off script. You thought yeah, you were talking about that? Right. <laughs> go like, right. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> You trying to talk about some real shit. So you're looking for one piece, right? Like how far are you made that he's like, yeah, so this meat, bro, like that y'all had outside the security board y'all had outside, that shit was fire, bro. Like, where you get that from? <laughs> like, it would be like me. <laughs> how you feel about Hancock? Oh, she's a good friend, but who is she? Like <laughs> <laughs> my man Luffy, wow. He a loose yeah. fan. What's up, y'all? Uh, 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 I got put just a little bit of disrespect on you because I've been putting the respect. Uh, Chris, the big girl slayer, what's up? <laughs> oh, hey, but I too am a big girl slayer, so I ain't tripping. There you go, fire the club. Oh, right, yeah, right. so uh, I had to go Goldie Roger. I what you want to ask that nigga? You know you can't ask that nigga the question you want to ask that nigga. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I, I want to know what the world. Was, I want to know what the world was like. I want to know what it was like fighting Sebek. I want to know what what young Garp was doing. I want to know what it was like fighting young Whitebeard, the the strong the strongest nigga in the world besides Kaido. I want to know what was going on. Like what what was really? How did you and fucking fucking uh, uh Luffy's grit uh fucking Garp two two v five. All these super strong niggas. How y'all do this? Like how? how? That's a whole. How'd you win? I got to give you my whole book, nigga. Like that's a whole. (laughs) Hold on, sit down, young buck. Let me tell you how we whipped these niggas ass. Like, (laughs) like, 
I like who who's a who's a, a, a joy boy? Who's joy boy? Who how'd you learn about joy boy? Did you go to the moon? How did you how did you do what 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 was going on? Yeah, yeah, that's wild. He got he got some shit he gotta speak on. And you know, we never gonna get the real story because fucking Oda was like, Yeah, this is the bridge version of the story. Cause honestly, if I had my way, this story would never finish. Right. There's not enough time for me to write. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, how she Rama send you? Damn, what you want to ask him? Okay, I just want to kick it with the nigga. The nigga seemed cool to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard he had drink you under the table. He probably would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That- you know he got them send the send you DNA. He could he'll be drunk and just like recovered. Like that's not even fair. You're a cheater, but whatever. Yeah, uh, I feel like Hashirama got that. Like, um, I guess like I would equate him to meeting like uh one of those people who've kind of like done it, and they just feel content with what they've done. Like CEO of like I don't know, like probably like a Jeff Bezos or like I don't know somebody really really successful. Because I feel like he gives me those vibes of like I don't care anymore. Like I've done it. Like all oh, everything you said, I pr- I probably done that shit already. So I ain't. Even I want it life, so I don't even know why we're here right now. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> like he'll be able to talk to you. Like, I feel you on that. Like, it'll be a cool experience because he just doesn't seem like he'll bring any ego to the table. He'll just be like, oh, just be chill. Like, like, like Elon Musk on Joe Rogan. Right. Exactly. Yeah. He like, what? Well, he was the strongest Kage at the Kage summit. Just like all of y'all, are so cool. You capture all them. we can't capture one of these damn things and you capture all of them by yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all some so we can all be equal. Yeah. What's wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> Who made him like that? He's like, Yeah, I'm that strong. I can just come body you when I feel like it, but whatever. Um yeah. shit, and the third person. I'm really trying to think about who this third nigga is. I had it, I had it earlier. Oh yeah, Tenchi Muyo. Okay. Well, interesting. Yeah. Why? I want to know what's like living that house with all them women. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was. I want to know what he turned. He literally turned into a god for like five seconds and fixed the entire universe, and then went back to being human. I'm like, how'd you? What? What was that like? Like, what, what's what's like going on these all these crazy space adventures? Like, I want to know. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Interesting. That's pretty fair. They know. All right, so um, I'm going to go, you know, um, for Mirai Nikki, Future Diary, get me out. Okay, gotcha. I thought you meant you know for Black Clover at first. I was like, all right, interesting. Oh, that nigga ain't about to shit. For Mirai Nikki, um, one, okay. I, I'm already weird. All right, look, we, we already established that earlier. So I kind of want to, <laughs> I kind of want to know what it was like to eat the carpet that she had to eat. <laughs> Um, it's not that I want to eat the carpet. I want to know how she felt as she was doing it and then like how I felt on her stomach. Um, that was just something because when I was watching, I'm like, that probably tasted disgusting. That probably didn't really sit very well. Either. <laughs> That's that ghoul coming out. <laughs> yeah. He's that like, you know, that, that, that didn't sit as well as human would sit. Nigga, you add from Ed and Eddie. No, no. no. <laughs> okay, I'm a, I'm a... all right. Um, and also, she a guy, but she kept going back for this one dude. And I'm just, I just really want to know, like, you had any, any, and everything you want. Why are you going back for this one dude? Like, what's your attachment? Dickmatized. Yeah, well, real, real real with the resume. <laughs> but the whole time, yeah. whole time though. Spoiler. I fuck. It's like 80 years old. So look. What? She already he died. So he the first she was the first iteration and she won by herself. Then she went she went back in the time, repl- killed herself and replaced herself with the other dude. I'm like, that that was too much. That was way too much. Um, I just I just had some questions for her, just based off her journey. Um, plus, I mean, technically she's kind of a pedophile because he's like 14 and she's like a thousand. Or 9,014 or whatever. So that's not even pedophile at that point in time. It's just like shit, you move, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> at, at that point, we gotta define new rules. Like if people walk up a thousand years old, like, yeah, I'm trying to get with this 14 year old. Like, what I, I you really gotta start thinking about that. Like, you know some shit. He a thousand. 
<laughs> like, like he a thousand years, like literally all that. Oh, uh, she too young. I don't give a fuck. She about to, she about to learn centuries of, <laughs> of sex positions in this one. I'm like, bro, you got to wait to. I, I still like, no, nah, no, nah, I can't go, bro. You got to wait, bro. I get, <laughs> I get it, you a thousand, but that shit ain't sitting with me right now. Bro. <laughs> you about to be level one hundred at sex, Look, bro. You might just knock me out real quick, so you do what you got to do. So I, I can't be awake. <laughs> Why are you snatching up fourteen year old, bro? <laughs> it was, did you see it? Nope. I was he knocked me out. I didn't no. know what happened. I woke up. They all got it. Um. Then I really, um. So I want to talk to Bakugo from uh, My Hero because this man always yelled. Can you stop? I just want to ask him. Just I just want to like, shut the fuck up, nerd. <laughs> I be like, why you gotta yell though? You ain't gotta yell. You are choosing to yell. Can he blow you over his quirk? Bro, that's an executive. Exe- he he going to blow me up. Me mad yeah, as hell. I'm just saying. I just got some quirk. Because, like, look, bro, I'm going to be 100 with you. No cap. The reason I yell, that's product branding. You feel me? I'm an explosive <laughs> nigga. I got to yell everywhere. It's just for my PR, my publicist told me to do it, bro. Oh, this nigga's yeah. walking off. Bongo might even hit you with some Takashi 6 9 type of commentary. You feel me? Funny, I'm the greatest. Yeah. I ain't let you get that one. I'm like, you better than me. You better than me. Name me. Not old Mike. Not old Mike. You don't even got the powers no more. Right? right? Nah, just kidding. Um, but then I would get Ichigo only because I no, I didn't even really watch Bleach, but I heard from what I heard, this man is everything. This man is was it a Quincy? Yeah, uh, he part of the Soul Academy, he part of the evil people. He like with everybody. And I'm like, how how does that feel? Like, do you walk around like do your arm, are your arm stronger, your leg? You know what I'm saying? How do you work? Each you know guy would definitely be the chillest nigga out of everybody know. listed to probably talk to. Like each go really just a regular ass nigga that low key powerful. Yeah. So, you know, I just went to college. You Got probably asked three. that nigga, like, hey, so each go, what do you like to do with your spare time? I don't know, like. I go to work. I, I'm a doctor. I go to work. Yeah, like I'm a doctor, bro. Yeah. You see my wife? You know what I be doing? I go to work and I go. I come home and I bang my big titty wife. That's what I do. That's it. That's and it. The world's in danger. I sometimes beat some um, ass. Look, I just got some questions for him. That's all. It's just, <laughs> that's it. it ain't like I want them to discuss a topic. I just got some questions. Like, hi. Oh, because Ichigo really was a nigga that wasn't trying to do shit at all, and the storyline just made him do shit. Like, that was it. like, he really was like, I don't know why I keep seeing these ghosts. I'm not trying to see these motherfucking ghosts, but they keep asking me to do shit. I'm like, not even asking questions about it. Right? Hey, like, hey, Pops, I can see ghosts. Why is that? Oh, so it's because I'm a soul reaper and all this. He didn't yeah. do that. That nigga was just like, all right, man. Just kept going. <laughs> Did y'all just disrespect that little ghost? I'm about to beat these niggas' asses. Like he just, he just a, he just a solid dude. He a lad. I'm saying at one point he had nearly like what 10, 15 niggas living in his room at some point. Yeah. Like Rookie was living in his room and he was just like, "All right, y'all." Like yeah, like <laughs> I was like, "Just my man, we good, I guess." <laughs> That man, boy, he chilled through anything. World could be in there. He should go just be on his headset, like, all right, when are we going to stop? <laughs> and I guess I'll just power up or whatever. Uh, MGG, I'm interested in, in what you got to say on that. Oh, story. man. So, first up is going to be a, a culmination of people. And what it's going to be is every black character slash black adjacent character in anime. Why I'm doing this. Some key highlights is like, for example, because you brought up Bleach, Chad, I just want to ask questions about like what it felt like to be dragged on this dumbass adventure. (laughs) (laughs) For Chad Chad, Chad specifically, he got dragged on a really dumbass adventure, not well equipped, and just like slowly got equipped along the way. Like they had him fighting hollows without any powers at all. Like that was his first engagement in a telephone pole. That's what I'm saying. So it was like, I would just want to ask these black characters, like, what did it feel like to be black in that world, right? And, like, what was your thought, like, at the goofiest moments that they were involved in with, like, particular characters? Like, were you like, this nigga's an idiot? Like, were we on the same thinking plane? Because I was looking at you like, why the fuck did you do this? 
but you did it anyways, you know? So that would be three for me. Uh, two, uh, and you brought this up for me because of the Hashirama thing. Uh, Julius Nova Chrono from... Uh, I gotta be right back, y'all. All right. Julius Nova Chrono from uh, Black Clover. Uh, and I would pick him because... Um, uh, I don't, or do any of you guys read Black Clover or watch Black Clover? I watch Black Clover and I, I read it from time to time. Oh, okay, got you. So you guys got to the part at least with the elves or whatever, right? So okay. to me, I would I would ask him, like, was you fucking playing around at that scene? Because because personally, I felt like after he lost to Lich, I don't feel like he lost. I felt like he lost on purpose. Meaning, like, I think he was fully able to beat that motherfucker, but he likes to play around so much that he just, like, took that L on purpose because he just wanted to see niggas do cool shit. So my question to him would just be around his goofiness of just, like, nigga, all right, bro, are you really, like, fucking around? Like, because I feel like you're stronger, especially with all the world-building aspects that they brought up in Black Clover and how hype Julius is. I'm just like, I don't expect you to have taken this loss in the way that you did. So it will be an investigation of, of that. Um, And then I think my last will probably be like a group discussion of all the like big three shonen main characters. Um, and when I say, I'm, I don't mean just the big three, but I mean like Goku, like Yusuke, like the ones of history. Like I would wanna have like a, a uh, time-based discussion with each of them. So I would have like a, a segment where I did like Goku, Yusuke and like, uh, maybe even Rioni Kenshin or even uh, Inuyasha, like all in one podcast and just like talking shit with them. Then I would do like the big three generation. So I would do like Ichigo, uh, Naruto, uh, and um, Luffy. And then I would do like kind of like the current stage. So I'd have like Deku, um, even Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. I'd have Eren. I'd have like uh, some of the other characters from those big yeah. ones. I thought I thought Asta was part of the big three now. The new yeah, so no, I would have him too on that. I would have him on the new age big three. So yeah, Asta would be like Aaron and all them. So I would just have them on there just to basically talk shit and also like uh, analyze their goofiness. Like I would want to like instigate arguments between each of them and basically like flame the shit out of them because especially like the the middle tier like my big three generation, like Naruto, Ichigo, Luffy, I just have a lot of questions about decisions they made. So they would just be getting, getting grilled by me, honestly, more than it would be a, a fun discussion. <laughs> Man, the the discussion with, with Aaron, that would be terrifying. It's just like, oh, yeah. I want my I mean, people to be free, but these motherfuckers has, keep killing us. I feel so like you Aaron's know what has, I gotta do? Hey, <laughs> Aaron, my man Aaron. Yeah. Aaron would be ready to up the blamey at any moment. That person I'd be a little bit scared of. He'd be like, uh, rest in peace, XXX, but he would strike me as like an XXX Tentacion type of nigga in, the, in his generation. Like, everybody else would be like, happy to be there, have a conversation. I would just keep looking at Aaron. He would just be, I ain't like, looking back to work. Work. <laughs> he, he, he know he got that heat on him. He's just like, right, yeah. right, right. He got that twisted that tight. Don't know. No. That nigga Aaron, bro, I'm that manga boy. I be in there like, <laughs> yo, I know this nigga crazy, but is he crazy though? Yeah. My question is, how, how does their body feel? Like, okay, say if Aaron was decide I was gonna start like eating people, like how would his body take that? Like when he gets smaller, does his body just they don't need to Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. All I'm saying is, you were a hungry ass nigga. I'm telling you, this is this is the first time we talked about you. Some, you, some, 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 some burgers, don't you, you, bro. Not, you cannot tell me that you ain't. You like, man? Do they just instantly digest their food, or do they like? How well, long I can tell you. I can tell you right now. I never thought about how Titans digest anything. Yeah. <laughs> <For me. laughs> they they literally show in the show that they they just spit them back out. Oh, wait. What? No, after but they sit in a um they sit inside the Titan for a little bit. Um, like remember when Aaron first got bitten up and it was all the oh. bodies in there, there was even a nigga in there that was like still alive, like oh shit. But like inside of a Titan is like super hot. So I think just eventually you'll die. And then like Chris said, I think they'll just spit you up after like they just oh. they just regurgitate you because they don't eat for they, sustenance, they just do that shit. They do it because they try to be humans again. <laughs> It's like, yeah, this, 
This is about right front. That's the funniest thing because now I know if we ever got like sent to an anime world, for example, if we got sent to Attack on Titan world, for sure, Zeno, you're a Titan, bro. Automatically. <laughs> Off the Google commentary, this whole podcast. It's, it's, you know, like the thing is, no one's turning you into a Titan. You just immediately land on that bitch and just, <laughs> I'm just like, like, <laughs> like, don't you know when we first found out like Rainer and Bert taught like the Titan Titans had humans working with them, and you like who the fuck would be there? You just see that nigga like me. Like, <laughs> They don't even turn me into a shifter, bro. I turn, I'm just, it's just me, nigga. Like, right. I know you were eating, bro. He's the first human sized Titan. Right. They call him a human sized Titan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. Yeah. Running and shit, like, <laughs> I feel like I'm dead. Damn. Why some Bert dancing? I, I don't know, but he ain't eating us, so we good. And that would be amazing because it would be amazing because low key you would be um in it, it, it seems weird because you're a human, but at the same time you would actually be in the best position because it would be almost impossible for them to hit the nape on your neck. Like mm-hmm. with their gear, it's meant to hit yeah. huge things. So if you're in a human size sign, they'd be like, Oh, we actually can't beat this nigga. Like right? <laughs> Yeah, like you, you can wear like just a thick down. neck guard and you probably good. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody cut through this. <laughs> That's decent. The human titan. I'll rock with it if they put it in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, player five. I think you're the last one on your uh the oh. group. Uh, I was thinking for time I might skip four, but I'll just drop like maybe like one nigga. Uh oh. Any any main protagonist in the romance, I would just need to school them niggas. Like, bro, stop simping. It's, <laughs> it's beneath you, King. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then maybe like I gotta talk with that nigga light. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like, bro. I gotta make sure you ain't got the death note because I just gotta talk to you, bro. You was real goofy. You was real goofy, dog. Like that. And my angel convince you to come to his side by the end of it. Don't sleep, bro. Okay, <laughs> get me, get me. I like shit. Light well, was getting niggas to do some wild shit, so I guess yeah. I ain't dying for that nigga. But <laughs> you might turn you into acting like don't sleep. You might say some things, bro. He just he like me as a person who responds to your questions with more questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like he never answers your question directly, he just hits you back with like, like why would you do that? The question is, my brother, why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> you know? They're like, what? <laughs> okay, that's how them, them, them radicals get you. <laughs> Answer your question with a question and get niggas thinking about how they thinking. <laughs> manipulation 101. I ain't going for it. Like, um, 